Hello, it's Bill again, and today we're going to do a quick dive into holographic encoding. Every particle sits at the center of its own cosmic horizon, 14 billion light years away. This isn't speculation. When you look up in the night sky, you're seeing your horizon. Here's what nobody realized. These horizons aren't passive boundaries, they're engines. Your horizon pulls space at light speed, clearing one light year per year. This creates an outward stream flowing from you towards your horizon like a river, but made of space-time itself. As the stream flows outward, it intersects distant particles and samples their state, position, velocity, and acceleration. That information returns to you as light. The key insight, the moment a photon reaches you is the exact moment your horizon finishes encoding the particle state. Observation and encoding are the same event synchronized by geometry. Every particle does this. You're sampling distant particles while their stream sample you. 10 to the 122 particles all tracking each other through streams moving at light speed. This creates a synchronized nows mechanically and force consistency across all observers. For particles at your horizon's edge, something remarkable happens. They're receding so fast they can't match your stream speed. That relationship becomes a standing wave. Information locks permanently as one Planck area of gravitational energy. This is the source of dark energy. When particles interact locally, your horizon spends energy from this pool. Each interaction erases a Planck area, creating gravity at that location. This single mechanism explains everything. Space-time is a horizon projection. Dark energy is horizon clearance. Gravity emerges from measurement. Quantum mechanics is horizon encoding. The speed of light is the fundamental relationship between distance, time, and information itself. The universe is a holographic projection system where every particle creates the reality it observes. Thanks for watching. Remember, gravity's for the masses.